GearNetwork.com. The following is a presentation of the Gear Radio Network. Ryan, Make you're either in a, Why? You're either in a sauna. Oh, never mind. That explains it. He's in prison. <laughs> no. He's not in prison. He's not in any of that. You know where he's that at? Like lock up to me. He's in the he's in the cube. Just hot box it away. He's in yeah. the La, da, 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 da. Ra, da, da. Sorry, I, I listened to that for me today. God damn, I missed all of you. <laughs> this is the first time we all been on live. In it's a nice long, to have the entire time. family. Yeah, so the entire dysfunctional family is home. It's the white rabbit has returned. Mm. Let's talk about that and so much more on the wrestling show. <laughs> oh my goodness um as you probably could see on twitch but if you can't um if you're listening to us the f- gang's all here let's start with the man who is 400 pounds all muscle not really we're, we're fat man <laughs> hey we're really fat hold on i just don't take your gimmick that's okay well someone else here is taking one of my gimmicks Oh, fuck you. Deets is here in the house. What's up, y'all? Um, over up here and to my right or left, depending on which way you look. Check it. What's going on, guys? Happy Tuesday. Let's get it going. And of course, back from Real Hard Part 2, from Parts Unknown, and... <laughs> Hot boxing himself. Hot box USA. <laughs> Canada. <laughs> Hot box the North. Ryan Williams is here. <laughs> hey, yo. I have been waiting <laughs> months <laughs> for him to be on the show. I just realized I have the most hair that it's anybody in this in this room right now. You're welcome. Rogaine works. Is John for that? Hey, yo, are you fat man? No, finally, the Canadian Godfather is here. Oh shit! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you get to drop that line live on air while I'm on the air. Yes, I had. He's to. been waiting <laughs> for it. He's literally like, he's been, been waiting. waiting for I got now. jealous of Chip's two divorces, and I had to get halfway there. <laughs> <laughs> oh, fucked up. <laughs> it's all fucked up. It's all in love. Oh, it's fucking dancing back. <laughs> Listen, oh, I, look, I, so I look like an emo 50-year-old. Believe you me. Look like, you look like you belong in some 41. Oh, I do. I, 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 I'm probably the blown-up drummer who can't even play three songs. You just uh, you just curtain jerk. <laughs> 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 oh, my goodness. Yeah, I went um, there. So today, we were going to talk about uh, Victory Road. But let's just say... The Hall of Famer was the only one to fucking watch the show. Nobody watches Impact. Nobody fucking watches Impact. Ryan. I'm I'm just finishing the main event there now. Oh, fuck you. Well, anyway, we're going to save some time then. It was a really good show. Nothing on this show is to actually go out of your way to watch. But it was an Impact show from 2022. So it was. It was. It was a great show. It's pretty good. Yeah. So is Alexander still champ? That's yes. not happening for another two weeks. Yeah, he was in a tag team match. Got you. I, I didn't like. Yeah, I, Bound, I for, Bound for Glory is the day before Extreme Rules. 
Got it. Got Where it, got is it. Bound for Glory? Albany, New York. What? Yep. Son of a bitch. At the venue where it was an okay show for a house show. Oh, the Armory. Yep. Cool. Well, that'll be a show that maybe some of us should go to. Some of us shouldn't go to. I don't even know anymore. Oh, Fatman <laughs> uh, Fat hasn't worked in uh, two months, so he's he's broke. <laughs> he's fucking broke. <laughs> Fat Man's giving out hand jobs for wrestling tickets. <laughs> hey, hey, hey. Twenty to twenty. Ah. <laughs> hey, hey, hey. Goodbye. Good talk. If you're going to plug it, you better plug it all the way if you know what I mean. That's all I'm going to say. Yeah, onlyfans.com slash the wrestling show. There you Watch go. Watch how Batman gets to the next pay per view. <laughs> every <laughs> that be a full stroke. series. Every stroke. Uh, that's what the every minute- stroke, every poke. That's what the Minnesota footage is for. <laughs> what footage? I ran, bro. I ran for that. Yeah, you ran to catch it. <laughs> wow. <sighs> you're, only like di- you're only like this with Ryan's on. I think Ryan's a bad influence. <laughs> what? What? So he's me- empowered. Chip is empowered to, to fight oh, back against the fact. Get that motherfucker, Chip. Get him. <laughs> <laughs> This is great. I, I, I've i missed this so much. This is going to be one of my favorite shows, I'm sure. And well, let's keep it short. Because nobody watched the fucking show for right. the fat man. Right? Um, so let's, uh, let's quickly, um, while we're kind of playing around here. Um, so well, we're not on the OnlyFans page. We're not playing around, remember? Yeah, that's for, that's our for our OnlyFans. Uh, you've already given us a, a little bit of a preview on Twitch, um, aka. What the hell is that? <laughs> he's vaping. You're vape. Oh, okay. He, he's he, a dr- he's, he's a dragon. He's, he's completed here. Um, Brandon the the dragon deeds. Br- wow. The last dragon. That's gonna stick. The red dragon. Brandon the Red Dragon Deeds. I think we have a new shirt. Um, His name is Dragon. My name's Nighthawk. I'm not calling you Nightmark. Who's who? Nightmark. Oh my no, wait, god. Wait, wait, who gets that Nightmark. reference though? Who gets that reference though? Dragon and Nighthawk. Oh, Step Brothers. Yeah, Step Brothers. Yeah, Step Brothers. Oh, oh, okay. So he's like, okay, I've never seen it, but okay. No, I think it's actually a rare Will Ferrell movie I've seen. So he's, oh, still, so he's still stuck watching Cheers. We, oh, I love Cheers. Hey, everyone knows your name. <laughs> Sleazy. If you ain't first, you're last. I piss excellence in the morning. That's oh, Telvig and Knights. That's probably not Will Ferrell. Is that Step Brothers, but okay. Don't touch my fucking drum set. It's a Will Ferrell movie. That's all I got. That's all I got, man. Um, so let's let's kind of talk through um, the roster of TNA, actually. Um, so one of the, the people that did debut that I'm aware of is Bobby Fish. Now, I have news on that. Let's talk about Bobby Fish. Apparently, so, he's only signed through Bound for Glory and then the taping after. That's it. So he's just doing a quick run. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Lord, like all the bars are still tangled up in AEW. Uh, yeah. Well, here's so my question: it. Is why? Why do we care that Bobby Fish is an impact? Because he's a former AEW and WWE guy now. Yeah, but that's why? exactly why. Everybody still looks shitty down on Impact, and they're all fucking wrong. I, I would disagree with that. There's so many great fucking stars in Impact right now. So you're agreeing with him? Oh well, yeah, but I'm. Well, he said, "There's so many shitty guys in Impact, and everyone who says that is wrong." And you're like, "You disagree with that?" You're correct. <laughs> I get. I guess my point. Is, you got me. You got me. Um, I guess my. Where do you see Bobby Fish falling in there, though? I mean i I don't understand. I mean, if it's just for a quick run, it's just a... They still have the X Division, right? Yeah. I'm I'm sorry, but Bobby Fish does not exude 
X Division vibes, in my opinion. I think Samoa, it was on no for what now. Samoa Joe did. Uh, I, I was True. just going to say uh, Bobby Fish is perfect for the X Division because he's that small, but he's going to be a hard hitting technical guy instead of the high flying guy because the X Division means does not mean what it used to mean. Right. You know what I mean? Yeah, X Division yeah. is not about weight limits; it's about no limits. So we get that. So I'm I. I, I like Bobby Fish. Uh, I'm actually kind of happy he's going out on his own. I mean, he is he has fought professional mixed martial arts before, so mm-hmm. Fish will always have a soft spot in my heart. Uh, I really, I just want to see what happens in the next couple of weeks with him. What are they going to use him for? Who are they going to put him with? That's my thing. Is his dance partner going to be correct? Um, if you seen the promo, he kind of. The crowd kind of wanted him to shit all over Punk, but they kind of tiptoed around it. Probably not to burn any bridges. I mean, cool. that motherfucker is going is fucked anyway. But I, I, I guess I don't understand what value he brings to Impact. I really don't. And and I know you're well. He's a former AEW guy, a former WWE guy. But there's there's guys on the roster that are just like Bobby Fish. You know, it it doesn't make sense for him to be also there. I guess I I don't know. Maybe maybe I'm just. Well, you can say that about half the people on the AEW roster. Well, you can say about half the people on the WWF roster, WWE roster. Uh, not necessarily because they're not all playing the same role. I guess I like. What do you mean role? Like where what do you do with a Bobby Fish in Impact? Coach. Well, you have to have he's a legit fighter, a little bit older, but a tough son of a bitch. You're gonna who's your him. who's your current impact champion? Josh Alexander, but he's not facing Josh Alexander. Yeah, well, my point is that they're they're basically the same. That's what not I was at trying all. To- the yeah. Same. I disagree. Bobby with that. Fish and Josh Alexander are not at all exempt. In okay. terms of qualities of matches, no. But in terms of the character gimmicks, yeah. No. Yes. One hundred percent. Yes. I bet. I bet. Sleazy on this. From 100%. the two guys that don't watch the product. What are you talking about? You literally, just, Josh Alexander comes out as a wrestler who's wrestled. Bobby Fish comes out as an MMA guy who does MMA stuff. Right, they're not the same. They're very much the same. They're because not the same. they're coming from a different background, other than pro wrestling, to hold, take their craft into professional wrestling. It's the same gimmick. Just because it's MMA versus amateur wrestling, it's not the same gimmick. Yes, it is. It's a no, very it's much not. the same gimmick. It's no so. I'm, than so Bobby if I'm a guitarist that goes into wrestling, it's the same as a Eminem guy going into wrestling. It's two different backgrounds going into the same sport. Therefore, it would be the same as if you had. I just have a guitar, and the other person just has kickbacks. It would be no different than it's the different. goon versus, I don't know, Baron Corbin when he was the the football star. You know what I mean? That that's that's what I'm saying is that you're 100. percent You're 100 percent wrong. You're I'm absolutely right on this. And you're not you right. No you're one, you're never about. right. It's, you have no idea what the fuck you're talking about. You don't, because the goon's a hockey player and Barry Corm's a football in player. In one in one <laughs> sentence, tell me what Bobby Fish's gimmick is. Bobby Fish. What's Josh Alexander's gimmick? Gosh, Josh Alexander. So in the right, you're, you're an right. You're an absolute idiot. Tell me um, what tell me what tell me what Bobby Fish's gimmick is. A former MMA guy that's tough as nails. What's Josh Alexander's gimmick? A former amateur wrestler that's tough as nails. No. And yes. a family man. Also family man. Yeah. There you go. You, you, comma family uh, man. I'll, 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 I'll give him comma that. Comma gimmicks are completely different. I always, I always look at Bobby Fish. As good as he is, he's quiet. He doesn't say anything. He sits in the shadows of everybody, especially when he was with the elite. Because he's, well, he's older. He's injury prone. Well, very interesting. He's not a great talker. 
That's why he didn't talk. The worst yeah. part about that is that's not necessarily true. If you watched all those episodes of the fish tank, when he was doing uh, red dragon with Kyle O'Reilly, he was the funniest guy there. Was in front of a wrestling crowd. 100% agree. Promo. Yeah, absolutely agree. But in terms of a tape promo, absolutely wonderful. Tape promo versus live promo. Two different are, skills. Yes. We, 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 we've said this before on that show. It, it's complete. You could walk out there and be fucking doe eyed, but you could cut an awesome promo backstage. Yeah, I get it. But the, the point was that it's sad that those skills don't translate. But some people do, some people don't. But that's why right. he was kind of in the shadow because he just couldn't talk. Putting him with a manager would have been better, but they didn't need to because he was always with Kyle O'Reilly or Adam Cole or someone that was who could. And talk. those guys could talk. So, yeah, and that's and that's kind of the problem is that, and we all do respect to Bobby, and Fat Man knows this. He's you know from Syracuse. You know, it's not like he's not a local guy. He is definitely a local guy. Um, but I, I don't understand the, um, the value there, but maybe well, if Ryan was on the show, he'd say what he already said, former WWE guy, former AEW guy goes down to impact. There's some name value, not, I would agree where there's not a lot of name value. I don't think it's some. enough. Let, let, it's, it's not enough. Let, let me put it that way. I don't think it's enough. Just, and you have to understand, it's not signed long term. It's only literally it's a, a shop. It's a. I it's mean, a. If it's yeah. if if what Fabian yeah. says is true, and it's a four week shot or six week shot, then okay, cool. In hockey, they call this professional tryout, a PTO. It's where you've been in the league for a long, long time, and you. Are willing to take the league minimum, but you got to be on a team. So a team will give you like ten days to try out. It's kind of like is anything like that. I think it's. I think it's. I'm trying to toe the line because Lee's going to call me a fucking mark. Go ahead. Uh, I think him trying to recruit Colin O'Reilly to WWE. Is is one hundred percent not true, and I think Impact is kind of trying to capitalize on his heat from the CM oh. Punk thing for, and if it were, but not maybe Bobby doesn't want to sign with them long term. Maybe just wants to do a couple shots. I mean, it's happened before. Impact does it all the time. Here, here's the other thing, and, and you said it before. He's injury prone. The last thing I want to do is sign Bobby Fish to a long-term contract where he could be sitting there paying out a year's worth of downside guarantee, and I can't barely use him because he gets injured four times during his contract. Yeah. So put him on a short term, see if he can go, and then do per dates, or if we feel like we really, really, really want to keep him. then He, may, be, he may already only be on a per date deal. Right. So. Most most people in Impact are on per day deals. Yeah, only their their top guys like Sammy and Josh and uh, are on guaranteed contracts. Yeah, so. that's why Lady Frost wanted to leave because if you're not working, if you're not on TV, you're not getting paid right. because it's a per day deal. You can show up, but if you show up to the arena and not work, you're not getting paid. Right. And that kind of sucks, especially if you're not living anywhere near the arenas. Mm -hmm. So it, it, that's kind of a type of situation. And Ring of Honor used to do that too. So unless you were in that top echelon, you showed up per date, or you know, with the you know, with Kevin Kelly saying, "Oh," or Delirious saying, "Yeah, we'll probably use you for these tapings," or. Um, Delirious will bring you back and go, okay, well, maybe we'll use you for this set of tapings, this set of tapings, and maybe the pay-per-view. So you at least have an idea. But that's a whole different – that's a whole years ago type of thing. Like we're talking decade plus ago. And before ROH. Yeah, so for ROH. Yeah. Massive contracts and killing their own company. So anyway – I mean, they didn't kill their own company. Everyone else stole from them. And then well, did you see that uh, 
uh, Kerry Silken doesn't think Tony Khan's doing a great job using ROH. Shocker. He's absolutely right. Yeah. Well, yeah, I know. Like, who's the current Ring of Honor world champion? Jericho. I honestly don't have a problem with that. Neither do I. Benefits the storyline. Yes. Yeah, but still. It benefits the storyline. Benefits the storyline. Puts another credible name with the title. That too. Am I sad that they kind of just wasted Cesaro's title? Absolutely did. Yes. Because they fucking, like... You, you, Here, here's a no offense to you that. Get number, you, get, you get number 10, number 10 on the PWI 500, uh, eight minute match just to rip the title off him. Sorry, you're, you're, you're my guy, you're my guy, Gresh, but I feel um, bad for you. Um, I was gonna, that made me laugh. Uh, <laughs> what's it gonna say? Caught you off guard, you weren't ready you, for the deeds of. We're yeah, ready we'll for see. the dragon. <laughs> All right, we'll see. Let's see what Nighthawk can come up with. Um, oh, Jesus, I I don't remember what it was. <laughs> you were talking about-, <laughs> talking about Jericho and getting the title off a of client. Oh, oh, yeah. No offense to Dax Hardwood, but when you're defending your ROH World Championship against tag team guys on a rampage with no build. <laughs> Uh, or random Japanese guys touring the United States. Yeah, it's. Oh, I, I disagree with that. Of course, you're an Asian, Mark. Shut up. I so I don't mind. I'm I'm not even going to say his name because I'm going to butcher it right now. But mm. I need to see more. That's all. But yeah, they wasted his title. Yeah. Um, but it does benefit the storyline with Daniel Garcia and the Jericho Appreciation Society. If you watch the product, you would know that. So I do uh, watch AEW. But, but I like my big thing is like this could actually restore it back to prominence because you got a 23 year old Daniel Garcia who's been nothing but stellar for that company. Yeah, and absolutely he's going to be their next world champion. That, yeah. That's where they're going with this. I get that. Yeah. yeah um, so, are they going to combine the pure title with it? Or are they going to have Jericho kind of fuck him out of it and then Garcia go after the world title? Mm-mm. I can see either either way working. I I think they're going to combine the two again. Yeah, I do too. I could absolutely see. Because the pure rules... I know everyone loves the whole uh, pure rules gimmick when no. it's done correctly. But it doesn't really. The you said it right when it's done correctly, and most of the time it's not. No. And Tony Khan doesn't know how to use it. Well, you tell me Tony Khan doesn't know how to book something. Shocker, right? Yeah. So we started talking about Bobby Fischer impact to Tony Khan. <sighs> we're just jumping all around tonight, folks. Well, we might as well because we're we're supposed to be talking about a pay per view that nobody watched. So whatever. Uh, I watched. Yeah, fuck so it. let's just well, or do you want to take a break and jump into news or rumors? Or you want to fuck around some more? Yeah, let's let, let's take a quick break. Um uh <clears throat> got news and rumors coming up. Uh we've got a lot of things to talk about in news and rumors, don't we? Hmm. Can you give us a little uh a teaser? Uh your face. I got one. Oh, well, there you go. Deets yeah. has one. Deets so has- so oh, I well, hold on, just teaser. give it give us. Just give us a little taste of what it could be. MJF's got us some serious heat with something that just was released not even an hour ago. All right, I don't Ooh. have that then. So I love that. We'll be right back after this. Welcome everyone back from the break. Uh, Chip was about to say something, then I accidentally cut him off. What were you going to say? Accidentally. <laughs> I was saying I didn't even hear this, and I've been checking the dirt sheets and everything. Prior to the show, so well, all um, right, eats go ahead. So, uh, there is a Christian radical group going after Maxwell Jacob oh, Friedman. I just hear this <laughs> over releasing a new shirt. Uh, it says, I'm a devil, and it, it's the word devil in his lovely Burberry esque thing, worshiper. And now there's right wing guys coming at AEW and adding even Tony Khan, uh, 
stating that they really love to offend Christians. Okay, cool. Like, I well, think that Christians. was... I know like, a lot I'm of not, I'm, beautiful here. I'm not the last one to preach about, like, any of that stuff. Peace, love, and happiness to everyone. But that's just some stupid shit. Yeah. You're just doing that for clicks. Yeah. No, thank you. It's actually... Here is what's great about that is it gives his shirt free press, and now that shirt's going to sell even more. Sell even more. Do. I'm so. literally going to AW's <laughs> shop right now. It might you already. It's a nice shirt, though. <laughs> like, I, I'm, I would buy it. <laughs> well, I'm, I'm just checking to see how much it is. Probably right. twenty four ninety nine. Twenty nine. I'm guessing. Thirty four ninety nine is my guess. Okay. Price is right. <laughs> Let's see. Who Closest, is Closest without over. going over. I went over. Hang on. Hang on, you guys. Hang on. While you're doing that, WWE. It is twenty four ninety nine. Win the showcase. Here we go. Um, WWE's canceled actually quite a few uh, house shows. They're canceling a house show October 16th in Prescott Valley, Arizona. Who cares? Due to low, t- due to low ticket sales. They, are, uh, they canceled the house show. On September 11th, UG, Oregon. Mm-hmm. Um, they are actually canceling a house show in Elmira, New York. Yep. Because of poor ticket sales. And they're even coming out and saying it's due to poor ticket sales. That's the surprising part is that usually when they say stuff like that, it's like, eh, you know, we're, we're going to go in a different direction. It's the day before uh, the Elmira one was the day before. Uh, day after. Or excuse me, the day after. Like the, I thought it was the ninth. Well, stream rules is the eighth. So. Yeah, so it is the day after. <laughs> I don't know which day is which anymore. I thought extreme rules was the tenth for some reason. On a Monday, right? Oh, See? Fucking Mark. Completely don't anyway, know which day I'm in. It's fine. What he doesn't watch the product because he doesn't know what day the shows are exactly. On. I can't why. turn on <laughs> fucking AEW on a Thursday and wonder why it's not on. <laughs> Truth. Yeah. Um so oh, sorry. I'm old. <laughs> uh Fan Man's not even really caring. Apparently, about speaking of MJF, apparently he now makes one million dollars per year in AEW. Oh, shit. I agree. I think that's bullshit too. I think it should be higher. I'm not saying it should be higher or lower. Well, I, I think it is know, higher. I guarantee you it's bullshit. I actually guarantee he's bullshit too, and I guarantee he's actually making higher. I don't think so. I, uh, well, here I'll I'll say this: I don't think it's higher unless you're talking everything. everything. You're talking no. I think I think is no. I think it's down to guarantee is over a million dollars. I don't think so. I do because Tony Khan's fucking stupid. I mean, I do agree with that. I mean, I'm not saying he's if not- if. You, if the reports are true and how much some of these wrestlers are making, a million dollars to MJF actually is not that unreasonable. I I would agree. Even with that. more than a million dollars isn't unreasonable. I'm not saying it's like five or six. I'm saying it could be one point five, two, two point five. I could. So I always thought he'd be making around two, two, like you two point two, two. I am not. I don't want to step on your news on this. Did you hear the number that um, was quoted for Punk? No, I don't have that. So go ahead. Five point three million. I actually do believe that. If he paid five point three million for him to be, what was that? Maybe a year. A little over a year. He had the summer, or no, it wasn't the summer of punk. It was the uh, the seasonal sweat of punk. <laughs> The fall pumpkin spice of punk. Oh, that's perfect. He was like three weeks of full Paul Brook spice latte. Yeah. Boots, oversized sweaters. And Chicago like flags. <laughs> yeah. So let's get an update on uh, <clears throat> apparently the wrestlers that WWE tampered with. Oh, God. Sir dude. Strickland was one of the names contacted by WWE. As reported by Fightful, um, uh, Strickland referred WWE to his attorney. He had no in, uh, intention to return to the company at the time. 
It was speculated that Triple H would like to bring him Strickland back and bring back the other Hit Row members as they've now been confirmed that Strickland was contacted to be part of Hit Row. <clears throat> Despite rumors, WD has not contacted uh, Keith Lee. No shit. Yeah. Keith Lee is damaged goods at this point. Because, oh, no, they made me wrestle with a bad heart, even though they didn't. And then they made me, then I had to pay my own medical bills, even though I didn't. Yeah. They, Fuck him. According to Dave yeah, Meltzer. Actually, it's not him. It's one of his disciples. Remember last week that, no, it's Ryan Frederick. Never heard Who of the that. fuck is this asshole? I don't know. Uh, Bobby Fisher comes to convince about Bobby. We already talked about that. Uh, multiple EW sources strongly didn't have talked about that. Um, there was a report online that Mira was contacted by WWE, but those were just that rumors. Duh. Concerning Alistair Black, who was reported to reserve a con- re- who reportedly received a conditional release from AEW earlier this month in order to take time off for personal reasons. Word is that he has asked for his AEW release. Several AEW higher ups assume he only wanted the release to go at WWE. According to the reports, Black told at least one WWE talent that he wished he could return to the company. Well, I got news on that. Alistair Black made it on, his, on yep. like a Facebook That's live cool. photo or whatever it was and said that he's still under contract with AEW. Um, he He'll still plans on coming back to AEW. His contract is not five years long. It's shorter. And he's been receiving death threats from fans. Of course he is. You know, because because okay. he took off, let me he took off mental health reasons. Let, let's Pull this fucking onion apart. Number one, the, there are three people that I would believe that would want to return to WWE that are either under AEW contract or just recently released from an AEW contract. Buddy uh, Matthews, that's Buddy Murphy. Okay, so let me talk about him. He yeah, pretty much announced that he's going on hiatus. He has not been released, but he's going on hiatus from wrestling. Okay. Number two okay. is Alistair Black, or Malachi Black, with, or whatever you he, want to call him. He wants to be with his wife. There's a third one. Brooks. Andrade. Yeah. Nah. 100%. All yeah. three of those people have significant others mm-hmm. in WWE. Forgot about the whole Andrade-Charlotte Flair marriage. That's the thing, though. If you want to see three people come back, it would be those three. Is MJF with Liv Morgan? No. No. Okay. No, he's, I, Dallas, he's, got, he's got like some redheaded. Bo dad. Dallas is actually dating Liv Morgan. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Bo Dallas. Like they got like a farm and everything. Yep. They, they have a real estate company too. <clears throat> That's what he does. He does real estate. Yeah. He's no longer an active wrestler, is he? No. He doesn't even do indie shots. Nope. I wish he would just do one more Bo tour just so we can run the circle. Just need. Th- to believe one Just believe, baby. Oh, Either that or B team gets back together because that was great. <laughs> um Tony Khan, speaking of releases, Tony Khan's reporting on refusing all talent releases at this time. Doesn't surprise me. Nope. Contract's a contract. I get it. Contract. Yep. I contract. Um apparently Paige she debuted on. Kind of my not apparently, but I, yeah, she, she is not clear to wrestle yet, according to the rumors. Okay, so this confuses me. The, the entire thing confuses me. Why would you bring her in? Number one, money mark, <clears throat> right? Number two, why would you wait till she was clear to wrestle? Money mark, Who and number three, think about the business. <sighs> Okay, what's your third? I will admit one thing. She has name value. Yes. Like, unlike no, Bobby no, Fish. No, I 100% agree. It was great seeing her. I wrote that in my article. It was great seeing her. I hope she's healthy, happy. I, I just hope she can happy. wrestle. I just hope she's, she's in the right happy. mind state of it. I don't think right. she did. She, like, she didn't look comfortable walking out to that ring. She looked very timid, very shy compared to when she made her debut in WWE. It just looked like a different person. I was from herself. When's the last time she worked a match, though? Or worked a show, even in a non-wrestling capacity? A couple of years. Two yeah. years. Yeah. 
it, it, it takes um, some time to get into that. Mind it you. was WWE backstage he was doing for a little bit. Mm-hmm. Um, it could also be that she doesn't maybe trust. But she got there and was like, <laughs> I'm in trouble. But <laughs> <laughs> It's like, Heidi, what did they do to you? Holy shit. <laughs> yeah, she's, she, had, she had surgery. She's out. Yeah, um, yeah. Huh? What was it? An orbital bone or something? Something like that. Yeah. Um, I'm just hoping that she can wrestle again. If she can't, don't force it. Just don't. She's one of those people that absolutely deserves to be in any school anywhere teaching wrestling. She is so good. She's so good at teaching her. Um, <clears throat> Um, Serena Deeb is another big one like that. I wish a lot of those wrestlers would be able to learn from Deeb and, and Heidi as, as much as they could. It's just, they're so good. Teddy Long announced that uh, his wife has passed away. Teddy Long? Yep. Okay, I'm, I'm going to say this. Was it true or was it because of was, Twitter got hacked? He announced it. Yeah, he I'm announced it. Not on Twitter. Okay. I, yeah. Because there was right around the same time as Twitter got hacked. And yeah. He was trying to get that cleared up all while this was going on. I was on Twitter and I was just seeing everyone get blocked. I'm like, what in the hell's going on here? Right. <laughs> um, shit. WD signs a deal with the Southeastern Conference for a series of championship belts. So, like, you'll have a university oh, okay. yeah. belt. A University of Florida belt, a University of Alabama belt. That's pretty cool. So they're trying to just massage the athletes. The well, they can't. Well, no, they they're they using the license, the license agreement through SEC. Oh, yeah. yeah like oh, yeah. I'm not. I'm not saying they're not. I'm just saying that it sounds like a good way to, you know, say, "Yo, this make, could be make your more next money." Path. Well, they, that also that it's goes, smart. It goes in with their NIL that they have set up already. Mm-hmm. I'm not saying it's a bad thing. Ooh. I am not saying it's a bad thing. No, that's just cool. That's cool. I'll get one of uh, one of those schools. Maybe uh, I don't care. It's SEC, Big Ten. He, he wants Vanderbilt. Uh, yes. <laughs> <clears throat> um, I don't get the reference. They <laughs> suck. They're terrible uh, at every sport. Uh, WWE's deal with Hulu is set to expire or expired, but yeah, I went on today and watched last week's NXT. So it could be that it lags because you well, they said, have- Well, I haven't been on Hulu to watch WWE programming in a while, and the article is saying that they already had expiration dates for like neck for like this ends like the newest episode. Ex- like, so say last week's episode, what was it, the 20th? Expires on like the twenty fourth, and normally they don't do that. Mm-hmm. That's when their deal was set to expire. Oh, but I was on there yesterday watching NXT, so I don't know what. I don't know. Maybe they got a deal done before. It wouldn't be a surprise. They usually leave stuff to the last minute to try and force each other's hands into a better deal. But that wouldn't be a surprise to me. Uh, just a few more, uh, according to Fuck Dave Meltzer. Triple H. Oh, God. <laughs> for, the, for the last 10 years or so, we created this recruiting effort and started a brand called NXT. NXT for us is that academy model. So if Raw SmackDown or, or in the NFL or Raw and SmackDown in the NFL and football, NXT is collegiate athletes. We had a small brand here called NXT UK. We were headed down that road prior to the pandemic. We put it on, we put it, we put a halt in that, but we just, shot that brand down because we're going to launch in 2023 as NXT Europe is trying to, to blow up. Uh, the intent was to take NXT Europe and bring it back around the world. So NXT Europe, NXT Australia, NXT South Africa, South America, Mexico, and eventually build it into a global system will lead to almost a World Cup scenario. The World Cup finals for NXT will be one year will one year be in London, the next year maybe Mexico City, and the next year the year after that and all the while Really, what we're doing is building this. We're building a fan base for college football. You're building, sorry, you're building a fan base for college football 
while you're building stars for the major leagues, while Rollins, Matt down, WrestleMania, right? In India right now, we are the second biggest sport in India outside of cricket, which is a religious thing. It's massive already, but imagine that scale when we have to brand when we have a brand on the ground of native Indian people having their own brand. Let's say one of them branches out a ghost to our SmackDown hands eyes WrestleMania. It's game changing. He's not wrong. He's exactly. uh, for one quick thing I want to say though, he intentionally said many different countries there and many different continents. The one place he didn't say, what was it? Japan. Japan. And that was always the big thing was that after NXT UK launched, he was originally planning on opening up NXT Japan and it never happened. And I, I still don't understand why that didn't happen. I wonder if the, the uh, WWE was going to buy like pro wrestling Noah or pro Re- or a- all Japan or something instead. And then rebranded it as NXT Japan. Oh, it fell through. Maybe. Ooh. I mean, but when I say this to people, they look at me like I'm fucking weird. There are more viewers at WWE in India than there are in any other country in the world. The Bollywood, the, the Bollywood brothers, when they were part of, when they got released, they were in spearheading that initiative in India. Well, shit, they still bring in the great Kali. Yeah. Like, in special events, like, wasn't he in Riyadh, like, a couple, like, not this year, but a couple years ago? Yeah. Yeah. Like, it's, they, most, it's where everybody lives in the world. Why not? Yeah, it's absolutely insane. Like when I say that, oh no, there's, I'm like, there's a billion people there. There's only a third of that here in mm-hmm. America. So I mm-hmm. and there's still is, a stigma of it of professional wrestling in this country. Yeah, and what's absolutely insane to me is when they went over there to try to do a live event, they had to cancel one of their shows because of poor ticket sales. It just it's asinine to me. Yeah, uh, it wasn't marketed great, but having a brand, a WWE branded only there would be anywhere would be fantastic. And I like the whole World Cup scenario thing too. It's that I'm really big. It brings new stars in. It it solves one of the problems of WWE being not as global as they should be. Which is what I would the rumor that I had last week about trying to find someone to make you go global. Yeah. This is one of the ways to do it. But it's not down. Yeah, two more. Oh, um, keeping fat man up, so we better get this going here. Sure. <laughs> uh, Randy Orton is to testify in the tattoo lawsuit against WWE and 2K. Oh, I heard about that, but I didn't. So read. We covered it. We covered it like a year, year ago, two years ago. Is that Randy Orton has tattoos? They appeared in the 2K game, and the artist the tattoo is artist is suing. Because for their likeness. tattoos are in the game, why aren't they getting like like this money for it? Yep. LT. So I, I I didn't actually look. I don't I don't think this has a leg to stand on. It's <laughs> it, it has a leg to stand on. It's a tattoo artist copyrights all his material. Is it though? So if you if he draws a Mickey Mouse on your arm. Is that his or is that Disney? Ask CM Punk. Yeah, Pepsi, bitch. Dave had to edit his tattoos out of games because of G.I. Joe, Cobra tattoo. Well, the the Pepsi one was the most glaring one. Yeah. But yeah, they've had to do it in the past because they didn't have rights to to use the Pepsi logo. The Pepsi logo or the is that different from the tattoo artist? Well, that's the thing is that if the tattoo artist has a copyright on the image that they put that he or she put on Orton, then it would potentially fall in the same category as the Pepsi logo. Mm-hmm. So that, and that's part of the reason why this, this trial is still going on is that there is a genuine potential issue a legitimate complaint here. 
And the I'm not thing. The only thing I can think of is yes. Trademark. I do think it is different with the Pepsi logo and the artists. I think it's different because Pepsi is a huge company and even though I don't know why they wouldn't want the advertising in it, but okay. But anyway, if the artist has a book of original designs and Orton went, I want that. Then I think copyrighted or well, copyright, it does fall in the law, but if they have original design and Orton wanted it tattooed it on there on his body, I think they have a legit case because it's their original design. Yes. But if it's just Orton goes, I want this on me and they just did it. I think that's different. Here's a, here's another wrinkle to that. One of the things that you can do in pretty much every WWE 2K game that I'm aware of customize is when you do your custom uh, customizable wrestlers is you usually can pick from a host of tattoos. Mm -hmm. Some of those tattoos are from the wrestlers because they use them from, they literally give you the palettes. So it's potential that she's suing not because they're specifically on Orton's character, but that you could okay. use them to put them on your own custom super old character. Goldberg oh. tattoo. Right. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You could right. absolutely you could always you could always have that. Right. So I did. <laughs> that's another piece of this puzzle is was that possible? I don't know because I'd have to go back and look at the older games. Um, I'm trying to think. So I did buy recently WW2K22, and I actually don't remember if his tattoos are actually in the game or not. I, I'd have to go back and check. So, but it, it's it's an interesting case because it it does it it falls deeply into copyright law, and I'm very very interested to see how it shakes out because it could have a lot of repercussions in games, not just in WWE land, but in a lot of different games where um, celebrity likenesses are available and or able to be created. Now say they got a copyright of it, but maybe uh, this is going to be interesting. Say Orn got the tattoo in 2004, but they didn't copyright it through 2006. They compensated for then those two years. I mean, technically it was copyrighted after when I owned his body. But it was copyrighted before it got into a game. How do, you know what I mean? Right. There, there's so many wrinkles to this. Yeah. Yeah. Right. This is a, a rough situation. Last one. We have a return of a WWE creative writer back to WWE. And his name is Gabe Sapolsky. Shocker. Triple H's buddy is back at WWE. The former owner of Ring of Honor. Also, before it folded, the former owner and booker of Evolve. Evolve. Well, it didn't fold. They rebought them. Well, they were acquired. They were acquired. It was over. Paper toss. Oh, I missed. I hit my oh. leg. Um, Deets, put yourself over, please. Put myself over. Folks, you can catch this lovable, handsome flesh meat of a man uh, at the legendary deeds. Uh, normally just talking shit about football and also wrestling and possibly talking shit about Logan Paul wrestling Roman Reigns. Yeah, we didn't even talk about that, did we? No, we can... But, we no, can but, but it's uh, the best fucking thing that's about to happen. But we can um, discuss it a little bit if you guys want. Yeah, I, I would want to love say that. Love it. Uh, no, I, I think, want- no, I think you and I touched on it last week. Yeah, I, I brought it. Uh, it was in news and rumors last week. We talked on a little. Ah, damn it! Because I wanted Fuck more you. fans. You were there. Sigh. Yeah, but I didn't. I didn't get to do the fanfic. Oh, Sleazy's obsessed with uh. Yeah, creating erotic. Uh, yeah. Stories with Logan Paul and. Uh, uh, Roman Reigns. I need to put that out in the world. And that's the real reason he didn't fans, watch Victory Road. Um, backslash the wrestling show. Yep. <laughs> yep. And that's the only reason he didn't watch Victory Road. So continue uh, putting yourself over, Deeds. Uh, it's uh, legendary detail on, on uh, Twitter. Like I said, I just talk shit, have fun. Hold it down for all my lovely wrestling fans. <laughs> Chip? 
put yourself. Okay. So before I put myself over, I just want to give a quick review of the main event of uh, Burning Spirit. Uh, that oh yeah, last- yeah. Uh, so uh, the night before Burning Spirit, because I was on this while I was, we had tournament after tournament after tournament after wedding this weekend. So I was up all hours tonight because I was so keyed up from work. Uh, the night before, I watched the press conference. The pressers for these shows the night before are fucking hilarious. But fucking, what's his name? Um, oh, God darn it. What, I, n- names for getting, uh, escaping me right now. Um, Finlay, David Finlay, threw a fucking chair at Will Ospreay and launched at him. And because... I didn't. Even, I had to go back and watch it because I was on Twitter, and he said he threw a fucking chair at me. And I'm like, no, what? What did I miss? So I went and watched it. But the, the first interview that had TJP and um, the, his uh, partner, I forget his name, but one of the guys, the ja- Japanese guys, was talking about going to a barbecue, and he was just bullshitting the whole time. But it's kind of cool how they had that before the the, the uh, matches. But um, Will Osprey. And Finlay at Burning Spirit, it was so good. It was so good. And I know David Finlay is Fit Finlay's um, son, but Jesus Lord, that's some of the best wrestling I've ever seen David do. And him and Will Ospreay together, it was it was gorgeous. And I'm not saying five star, but I'm saying I don't know. I you you gotta gotta go watch it. Um, but the end. Had, um, oh, what's the name come out? Well, Zach Saber Jr. came out and interrupted. Um, I forget. Ah, oh, damn it. His name escapes me. The long hair guy. Uh, Naido. Naido. Sorry. Naido. Naido. Yeah. Naido? yeah. So, um, he, they're going to have him and Zach Saber are going to have a match in England next week for to see who's going to wrestle Will Ospreay for the title. Please, God, if there's anybody can hear me in New Japan, Gato, book Zack Sabre Jr. versus Will Ospreay. Do it, cowards. Either match. To too. be honest, either match would be absolutely fucking awesome. They're both yeah. be great. But, yeah. but I do yeah. want to see. I, yeah. Ju- I think Sabre Will Ospreay Jr. is also having an open open uh, ch- uh, title challenge in England as well. John yeah. Huxley. I doubt it. No. I, I'm just I'm excited because I, I want to see Zach Saber and Will wrestle in England. <laughs> I'm gonna say it right now, John Moxley should not be AW world champion right now. Oh, we'll talk about that on another show. I'm sure anyway. You can find me and Fat Man and when he's on the show, Jerry, <laughs> on on this best darn sports show period two. We go we record 9 30 on Wednesday nights now. We've done switched up our nights and you can find me on Twitter, which I have been blowing up Twitter lately within JPW all over the place because I'm loving the shit out of it right now. And it is the Sports Guru 728. Excellent. I'm at TWS Sleazy. TWS Fat Man. The show's Twitter, Instagram, TikTok is at Sleazy Fat Man. We have an OnlyFans at The Wrestling Show because. We have to put that over. One of the things that we kind of, we, we say we're at the wrestling show.com, but usually it just redirects you to our Facebook. If you're following our social medias right now, as you're listening to this or even on live on Twitch, you'll see a post that came from us because we have relaunched the wrestling show.com. So expect tons of more content there fat man's doing uh reviews of weekly shows we're going to be doing news and rumors we're going to be doing um classic pay-per-view reviews all sorts of different things memes you name it it's going to be there check it out at the wrestling show.com um you'll also be able to get to our uh episodes at the gear network along with GearNetwork.com's other personalities. You can find them at gear network.com G E R E network.com. You can find this show 8am Saturday morning, wherever you find your greatest podcast 
platforms, whether it's Spotify, whether it's uh, Spreaker, whether it's Apple Music, iTunes, all that good stuff. Um, so, oh, fuck Ryan. He decided to, to get off early. He gave the Irish goodbye in Canada. He didn't yeah, really so. He just fucked off. Um, so fuck him. Fuck his Reddits. Fuck his TikTok at Ryan Buck Gotch. Uh, fuck the, re- the wrestling show's subreddit at r slash the wrestling show. Um, I think that's it for everything. I, I keep, I always keep doing this to myself. I should write this down, but I haven't done this in fucking 10 years. So why start now? Right. Uh, so with thanks to Dietz, thanks to Chip, and of course, for Sleazy. For the fat man. This is the wrestling show. Thank you guys so much for listening. Peace. We haven't said it enough. We gotta keep saying it more. Fuck Dave hey, Meltzer. Meltzer. <laughs> Fuck Kenny Omega. Fuck Tony Khan. A hot yeah. dog's not a sandwich. A hot dog is sandwich. a sandwich. Hot dog's not a sandwich. It is a fuck. sandwich, you son of a, a bitch. S- a sub is not a sandwich. And I am the Hall of Famer because I do this podcast with a broken freaking neck and no voice. The preceding presentation has been brought to you by the Gear Network.